President-elect Donald Trump was right. The system is rigged, but not against him. For the second time in 16 years, the person who won the popular vote in the presidential election did not become president. He and she, Al Gore and Hillary Clinton, received fewer electoral votes, so the other guy, George W. Bush and Trump, did become president. And before you drown me in emails, I know that's how the system works. The winners played and won by the rules. I just don't happen to like the rules and think the rules should be changed in the future. Before I tell you how absurd the system is, let me be clear. I felt this way long before Tuesday night. have said it many a time right here and would have said it had Clinton won the electoral vote and Trump the popular. Let me give you, till I peter out because it's been quite a long week, let me give you a few reasons why the Electoral College should go. First, ever hear of one person, one vote? Central tenant of American democracy. Not when it comes to electing a president because if you get more votes, you can lose. Two, it means that dozens of states, including lately many of those with the most people, California, New York, Texas, are ignored because everyone knows who'll win those states' electoral votes well in advance. Three, it makes citizens of those non-battleground states second-class citizens. If one million people in, say, Massachusetts care about X and 2,000 only in Ohio care about Y, a candidate or a first-term president seeking a second will pander to the smaller group in Ohio. Four, it makes a tie much more likely when you're only splitting 538 electoral votes rather than 100 million plus popular votes. And if there is a tie, you know how it's broken? Get this. The House of Representatives picks the president. And wait, it gets worse. With each state delegation getting just one vote. So California, with 39 million people, gets one vote. And Delaware, with fewer than a million people, gets the same one vote. Five. A third-party candidate, come on down, Ralph Nader, or even the clueless Gary Johnson, can get a small number of votes, swing a state, and thus swing the election, while those same number of votes would change virtually nothing in a popular count. Six. Actually, forget six. I have petered out. It's been a stressful week. Let's leave it at this. The Electoral College has got to go right after we get rid of all the pollsters. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts. 